Are you on the hunt for a puppy or dog's name? Something unique, different, and fun? Today's list is all about unique and totally fun, so rare, uh, puppy or dog names. Now, I've compiled a list with some help over my friends over on Instagram, and I have created such an amazing list of the most unique and fun puppy names for your future little furry best friend. So anyways, first off, we have a cool name, Bungie. It's spelled B-U-N-J-E-E, -E, Bungie. Now I see this as like a hyperactive dog, something that just loves to like bounce around, but so like goofy and playful. Then next up, I have Pocky, spelled P-O-C-K-Y, Pocky. Like those little like biscuit with the um, topping on it, like strawberry or chocolate on the top. It's like those candies. My kids love Pocky, so I think this is just so adorable and it's just so cutesy. So I can definitely see a little girl um, dog be named this. Okay, so this next one here is definitely pretty gender neutral and it's the name Raikou, so R-Y-K-U, Raikou. I think this is so one of those like bad to the bone names. I don't know, like a golden doodle or like a standard poodle with like fluffy go-go hair. I have Bambolina, spelled B-A-M-B-A-L-I-N-A, -A -A, Bambolina with the nickname of Bambi. Now this one I find could work for absolutely any style dog. Whippets, Greyhounds, I don't know, like they have that kind of skinny, body and frame could be representing like a deer, Bambi. Then I have chestnut, spelled C-H-E-S-T-N-U-T, chestnut. This is so cute. You can do this for any of those smaller dogs. I would say like chihuahuas, um, mini dash hounds. Like how adorable would that be with that kind of fawn or even brownish color? So my next two here, it's kind of like, they're very similar. So we have the male dog. Duck, D-U-C-K. I can see this as like a farmer dog, like lab, kind of something along those lines. Even like a border collie named Duck. Or we have a Ducky, so D-U-C-K-I-E for a little girl dog. I think that would be so cute. I love this submission. Duck and Ducky. I then have a Yumi, spelled A-Y-U-M-I, a Yumi. Now a Yumi just sounds like one of those more like majestic, uh, really rare breeds of dogs. I don't even know what I would do this. I would even do this for a husky. Definitely like a husky girl dog, a Yumi. Okay, we have Megatron, spelled M-E-G-A-T-R-O-N, Megatron. Now Megatron would be like one of those massive dogs. We're doing bulldog, boxers, Great Danes, but I can also see Megatron being like this tiny little chihuahua or like, Yorkshire Terrier and being like, my name's Megatron. We have Basil, B-A-Z-I-L, Basil. Now Basil really sounds like one of those Sherlock Holmes dogs. He is always like a spy. He's always on the move. He's very like mysterious. And I can definitely see like a Beagle or even one of those Welsh Terriers. We got Basil. We also have Bean, spelled B-E-A-N, Bean. Any teacup breed would fit perfectly with this name, Little Bean or Beans. I also have Duchess, spelled D-U-T-C-H-E-S-S, -S, Duchess. Now Duchess, she is posh. I can see like a posh Pomeranian, full white, um, maybe could be um, a little bit of a fawn color, but definitely white dogs, Duchess. Mm. She is like queen in to this day. We also have Dazzle, spelled D-A-Z-Z-L-E, Dazzle. Now Dazzle would also be a very fresh dog. Um, I can definitely see Dazzle being also like a Pomeranian chihuahua, maybe long-haired chihuahua. Something very different and unique. She's always wearing bows. You know how it is. Hobbs, spelled H-O-B-B-S, Hobbs. Now I find Hobbs, I added this one, and I think it would be like a really cool mixture, like Mutt's name almost, Hobbs. And it's like one of those dogs that you look and there's like a human trapped inside the body. You know, they look at you, and it's like a man's spirit inside. His name is Hobbs. 
I also think that Ralphie, R-A-L-P-H-I-E, Ralphie fits into that category as well. Ralphie is adorable. I find that it works really well for like beagles, any of those like kind of like terrier or like hound dogs, more of those small to medium size with the browns or even spots all over him. His name is Ralphie. Next up here, we have Waffle, W-A-F-F-L-E, Waffle. Now right away, I think Waffle is either a really cute and stunning haired looking golden retriever or a super goofy like golden doodle or some sort of doodle mix. We have Waffle. He's hilarious, she could also be hilarious, and just an absolute goofy and free spirit. Also Dumpling, spelled D-U-M-P-L-I-N-G. Dumpling. Dumpling would be perfect for those style dogs as well. I feel like also Dumpling could really work for like an Akita or like a Chow Chow. Um, just such unique kind of style dogs with those really fun word names, especially like quirky word names to do with food. I have Wookie, spelled W-O-O-K-I-E, Wookie. Now Wookie has a lot of hair. So any really like larger, almost kind of mammoth looking dogs with a whole bunch of scruffy hair and they just look so cute, that's Wookie. Wookie is adorable, he's sweet, he's loving, but he looks like a just ginormous bear. Next up, we have Moose, spelled M-O-O-S-E, Moose. I met a Chihuahua and the Chihuahua actually had um, those like little, it was an apple-headed Chihuahua, so it had the ears up. And in the ears was actually tattooed little moose antlers. It was like a dark black Chihuahua. And his name was Moose. And I thought that was like kind of cute. Um, I'm not sure about the whole tattooing your dog type thing, but I think that was super cute. And he definitely was Moose. But I also find that Moose could work for so many different breeds. That's a very versatile name. Okay, we have Miss Dolly Potton. So D-O-L-L-Y and Potton, P-A-W-T-O-N. How fun is this? I love it, Dolly Parton, no. We have Dolly Parton. Now, she also, along with like Dazzle and Duchess, like they're all friends. What can I see? One of those kind of like Shih Tzus or those styles like a Maltese. I can really see a Dolly Parton being um, named one of those breeds. Also, any of the like Yorkshire Terriers for some reason is Dolly Parton to me. Now, I hope you guys are loving this wild, unique names list for puppies or adopting a dog. Um, I think these are so fun and so unique and different. And it just maybe will make you, even if something's not on the list that you absolutely truly love, it will definitely make you like open up your eyes and think outside of the box when naming your little furry friend. All right, we have the name Whiskey, spelled W-H-I-S-K-E-Y, Whiskey. Now Whiskey, he is probably like a mixture between like a bully, like a, a bull mastiff, um, any kind of mastiff style dogs, even like a Doberman named Whiskey, I think that would be cool. We also have Bowtie, spelled B-O-W-T-I-E, Bowtie. Now Bowtie, I find he is always wearing like some sort of handkerchief or even a bow tie. It's just like his staple thing. He probably lives on a farm, I feel, Bowtie, um, and he's really just rallying everybody up. Actually, to be honest, I really find he'd be like a sheepdog, one of those Shelties, or even a Border Collie. I also have Grizzly, G-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y, Grizzly. Now this is full of power. I can see like a little Frenchie be named Grizzly, but I can also see like a Great Dane, like a more of a lazier dog be named Grizzly as well. Just something really like bear-like, probably like a dog that you would like take a snooze on. Grizzly. I have Koba, spelled K-O-B-A, Koba. Right away when I think of Koba, I either think, which is super random, a Chihuahua, like a small little Chihuahua, who's a little chunky, or I also think like a black lab named Koba, who's like the sweetest boy ever. He's a good boy. And another good boy would be Moosh, spelled M-O-O-S-H. Moosh. Moosh and Koba would be siblings. I can see Koba being this like black lab, so cuddly and kind of goofy. And then Moosh being the little chihuahua 
who's like maybe fawn colored and they're just like best friends. Next up, we have Fern Gully, spelled F-E-R-N Gully, G-U-L-L-Y, Fern Gully. Guys, this is hilarious. This is a farm dog to a T, nicknamed Fern, nicknamed Gull or Gully. Depending on the day, I feel like you could really make a lot of fun uh, nicknames for this dog. Like she would be named Fern Gully, but she has way more than just Fern Gully going for her. We also have Wasabi, spelled W-A-S-A-B-I, Wasabi. Now, Wasabi, I can picture this as like one of those little like rolled up dogs, almost like a wiener dog being named Wasabi, but like a little bit more of a chunkier wiener dog. But I can also see one of those bigger dogs like a Samoy or something like that being named Wasabi. And I also find that any dog with green eyes can be named Wasabi. It doesn't matter the breed, the look or anything, green eyes equals Wasabi. Next up is Mr. Moo, spelled M-R dot, and then Moo, M-O-O. -O. Mr. Moo looks like a cow, it has cow print, so it's black and white, and he might be a little bit slower, uh, a little bit more of a lazier dog, but he is super friendly. Another super friendly dog, but a little bit more high maintenance and energetic is Cowboy, spelled C-O-W-B-O-Y, Cowboy. Now, Cowboy lives on the ranch. Now, this is cute, I love it. And he also, during Halloween, he wears a little cowboy hat and they attach a little lasso to it. And before I move on with some more of the nameless, I do want to mention that I actually do offer not only baby name or name consultations, I actually offer um, animal name consultations. And I've done quite a few dog name or puppy name consultations in general. So if you guys are on the hunt for a really unique names list for your little furry friend, I do actually have a pet nameless package that you can choose and I'll create a custom nameless for you. Send me a DM over on Instagram or you can send me an email. I'll have my email down over here. We also have Blackjack, spelled B-L-A-C-K, J-A-C-K. Blackjack. Now, Blackjack has tons of nicknames. Obviously, he's a black dog. I would say medium to large size dog breed. His name is Blackjack. Then we have Fender, spelled F E N D E R, Fender. Now, Fender is the type of dog that would be in one of those like animal carts that those motorcyclists use and their pet is in their side cart. Like he's one of those side cart dogs. I also have Prawn, spelled P R A W N, Prawn. Now Prawn was sent in by Davian and I'm just giggling at this because I think it's actually a really cute name. Uh, a water dog, definitely one that lives by the ocean. He might be a little bit red in color. I also love Freddy, spelled F-R-E-D-D-Y. Freddy for a little dog. This is a very uh, neutral name for any type of breed. We also have Mowgli, so M-O-W-G-L-I, Mowgli. Now I find Mowgli would be one of those dogs that either looks like super scruffy, he almost like, can't, you can't even see his eyes because all of the hair is in front of him. Like he's just having the time of his life and he just really can't see 90% of the time. All right, last few names here on the list. So next up for another fresh dog's name is Bubbles, spelled B-U-B-B-L-E-S, Bubbles. I think this is actually a really like happy, free-spirited, cutesy, loving little dog, like Bubbles, little bub, bubsy. We have Jedi, spelled J-E-D-I, Jedi. Now right away, I think of like a Doberman. A Doberman with the name Jedi would be so cool. Just looks like it's ready for action all the time. Very alert and watchful dog. He just looks like he's a spy agent for some reason, and his name is Jedi. I also have Hank, spelled H-A-N-K, Hank. I can't go through the list without naming this name. I can picture Hank being a golden retriever. He always goes and gets groomed. He's like super nice long coat, and he's like in between the red and orangey tones. He also has a little sachet when he comes back from his grooming appointment. He is very smart. We have Astro, spelled A-S-T-R-O, Astro. Now, right away, I think Astro would be a really great Australian Shepherd's name. Something with like really cool eyes or like the like blue Merrill color coat. 
I think of astro because it kind of looks like space and like the stars and the galaxy and the cosmos, but the eyes as well. The eyes are blue or anything like that. I think astro would also be really amazing for huskies. Then last but certainly not least, we have the name Hammer. So H-A-M-M-E-R, Hammer. Now I thought this was so fun. I found it actually this morning and I thought it was like so unique. Hammer, very strong for sure. And I find that it could really work for absolutely kind of anyone because you could really play around with it for like one of those smaller dogs. You're like, oh yeah, I have a dog named Hammer. Hammer, get over here. And then all of a sudden Hammer comes and he's like this small like little teacup something. But I can also see it as like, just like a goofy big dog. His name is Hammer and he's just so cute. He just wants to be in everybody's way. His tail's always wagging. He has the butt wagging too. He's just so happy. Hammer. And you can nickname him Hammy. So that is it with today's random, goofy, super fun puppy or dog's name list. I wanted to share some more inspiration. I have done a dog's list in the past, also a cat list in the past, but I just wanted to share another one because I know a lot of you guys are like, I wanna see a dog's list again. So here's another list of definitely some unique options that will hopefully brighten your horizon and open your box up a little bit to other name ideas for your little furry friend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, bye.